Hey everybody, Pastor Chuck here from Freshwood Christian Community. I heard a great message on Tuesday night that posed a question that is burdened to my mind and burdened to my heart. It was shared by Pastor Casey Treat. Pastor Casey is from Faith, Faith Christian Community in Seattle, Washington, and he was teaching at Bethany Church's Nights of Revival in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And he began his message with this question. Are you going to have a new year or another year? That's a big difference. Are you going to have a new year or another year? A couple Sundays ago, I was teaching on entering this new year and making some p potential changes in our lives. That even if the world is still crazy, 2022 can be what we make it to be. And I encouraged us to get healthy physically, emotionally, spiritually. This past Sunday, Pastor Colin started a new sermon series we're doing this month called Take Flight, how we're gonna fly into this new year. And he said, you know, if you're gonna fly, you gotta let go of some baggage, emotional, uh, guilt, shame, habits, addictions. What baggage do you have that needs to go so you can really fly? And I take those two messages and I take that back to the sentence question from Pastor Casey. Are you going to have a new year or another year? I got thinking about a rich young man that came to Jesus. He was so excited. He said, Jesus, what do I have to do to have eternal life? And I don't think he's just thinking about going to heaven. He's thinking about having abundant life, not only in heaven, but on this earth. What do I have to do to have a real life? And Jesus said, well, you know, have you uh, followed these commandments? And he said, yes, I followed all the commandments. Well, then what you need to do is you need to sell your possessions, give it to the poor, and then follow me. And then you'll have real life. Follow me. Now, he asked the man to give up some things because Jesus knew they'd always get in the way. There are things in our life. Don't, don't, don't worry about the man being rich or any of that. He had things in his life that were hindering the life that Jesus had for him, that were hindering his truly following him. There are potentially things in our life that are hindering our following Jesus to the fullest and having abundant life. Do you want to have a new year or another year? If nothing changes, nothing changes. The young man thought about it and he walked away sad because he decided to hang on to the lesser life than the life that Jesus had just offered him because he wasn't willing to let go of some baggage, wasn't willing to get perhaps healthy in, in a variety of ways. I can't encourage you enough. God has just put it on my heart. So this is a new year. This year is just different. It's going to be a different year. The potential of this year, whatever happens in the culture, it happens. This is a year of great potential to take a huge step and to, to, to be in a better place in a variety of ways. I don't want this for me to be another year. I want it to be a new year. I don't want it for Fresh Wind Christian Community to be another year. I want it to be a new year. And so God is going to invite us to make some changes and most of us already know what those are and I've already started to make some in my life to to improve health physically spiritually emotionally and I just can't encourage you or challenge you enough to do the same let's not wake up in September October November December and say oh it was just another year let's let this be a new year let's not walk away sad like that man Jesus was talking to let's embrace all that God has for us. Even if it means making some significant changes, they will be worth it. And on the other side, we'll have honored God and our lives will be blessed. So Father, I pray that you would help each of us examine our lives and you examine our lives by your spirit and help us make the changes you would have us make to not have another year, but to have a new year. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys.